this uh, video I will show the pickups from last week actually this week when because it's still Sunday um, last week on Saturday it was a retro day in the thrift stores in Belgium which means they put out all sorts of stuff that people actually really want like game systems but also vintage furniture old records that are actually good not bad <laughs> stuff like that you know um, I was on weekend that weekend so I was only able to go on Monday to see what the scraps were and one of the scraps was this Master System 2 it cost me 50 euros which is way too expensive in Belgium at least but it came with two controllers and a stack of four games of which three I didn't have so that's actually nice for me Back to the Future Asterix this one I already had. Back to the Future 3, which is a bit more of an expensive game. Not really expensive, but the condition on it is really minty. Like, no damage whatsoever. So, it's, it actually looks like it's almost never played, been played. Because the Master System cartridges, they tend to scratch up here from inserting it into the game console. And this one looks like absolutely mint. And Sonic 2, which I have for like the Game Gear, the uh, Mega Drive, but apparently I didn't own it for the Master System. And also it's super mint. So if I can sell on this Master System with a couple of doubles, I may recoup some of the costs. Like if I sell it for 30 euros, I pay 20 euros for the games I didn't have. Um, I also found a transformer at this uh, thrift store, but it was really incomplete, so I left it there. At another thrift store, I found these two cool ET dolls, uh, 7 euros for the both of them, which is expensive, but I've been really wanting to have like old school ET dolls, so now I have them. And they're pretty minty conditioned. Then, this was the Pièce de la Résistance of the retro day scraps um, a complete setup tower of doom for the mega drive with the cd32 and the uh, cd and the 32x it also came with a full cable set i'm only showing you the piece for the mega drive one but it included all the cables so that's really cool also came with a six button controller <clears throat> Uh, with matching red buttons and this game cartridge which I already have like three times or so but you know it, it includes good games the only problem is that the CD drive the button is kind of stuck but I'll look into that I tested it out it works perfect so 60 euros that's a pretty great deal I guess then on to Comic Con for helping out a friend, I got these two games, Turtles in Time, uh, American version, which is pretty nice because I don't have it and I love that game. And this is a bootleg cartridge, I don't really know if it's an old one or a new one, but it has Sonic 2, meh, uh, Heavy Unit, yoy, Dangerous Seed, also a shooter never released in Europe, and Aleste also never released in Europe. And Monsterland, Wonder Boy and Monsterland, which is one of my favorites. It's not a, the RPG-like games, but one of the ar more arcade-like games. Also has the shoot 'em up bosses, so I love that game. Already have it, but you know. It's a bootleg cartridge, and it looks pretty new, so I guess it's a new one. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Then, on Comic-Con itself... I also picked up some laser discs, which you can see in my other video. This one was picked up for the girlfriend. Really, not for me. Yes, honestly. I also picked up Running Battle for the Master System, which you can see running here in the background. Also picked up for 10 euros Prince Valiant, which is an, a little bit of a more expensive game here. Not, it's a super dirty also. Not super expensive or anything. Then on the PlayStation 2, for 5 euros, the price is 7, but because the case was all broken, I only had to pay 5. 
Ring of Red, which is the only game I actually kind of overpaid because it goes like for 5 euros also on eBay. I never heard of this one and it looks cool, it's a strategy game. Then I also picked up Pop and Pop, which is the value release, but it's 3 euros. It's uh, from Taito, uh, sort of, uh, yeah, <laughs> Puzzle a Bubble uh, clone, but it's from Taito himself, so I don't know what the difference is between the series. I'll have to check that out. Never seen that one before, so that's why I picked it up. And this one is also for the girlfriend's dancing stage party edition. This one was also 3 euros. Has a bit of a hole in the case here, but... Nothing that can be replaced. Then this probably was my best find at uh, <clears throat> at Comic Con for 15 euros, but the box was uh, all beat up, so I already replaced the case with an empty case I had. Fantasy Star 2. So the cover looks minty. The cartridge also looks pretty minty, only no, no manual or instruction booklet. So I'll have to find those. I'm super glad with this. And 15 euros is really a good price. On eBay, it normally goes for um, 50 I complete, so I guess 30 not complete or something. It looks good. Oh, I can't wait to play this one. Then. During the week, I also went to a store called Hutterek, where you can, it means the shelf, where you can rent a shelf for a couple of weeks, and then you can put your own stuff in there. There are a lot of games there, but a lot of shitty games. This one, i never seen in a while before, Battle Arena Toshinden 3. Uh, it was 4 euros. And then Soviet Strike... I don't think I have this one yet. <laughs> I hope I don't. That's why I picked it up. I think it was two euros fifty. So that's it for this week. Hope you enjoy. Okay, it. quick Bye. quick uh, pickups video. <laughs> two days after Comic Con, and I already purchased some more stuff. These are two games I forgot I bought at Comic Con. They were still in my pocket. For the Atari Lynx, my very first game system, Rygar and Shadow of the Beast. Two awesome games for three euros a piece. Then today I went to FNAC, which is a Belgian multimedia chain. Well, actually, it's a French chain. They have a bit of a sale going on, and the Wii Remote Rapid Charging Set was $1.99 from $39.99, which is awesome because it actually includes a 3DS uh, adapter, uh, some red, a ribbon, and a condom, and of course the actual charging station, which I can use for my Wii Mode. I actually don't have, uh, I use the regular batteries and it's really pain in the ass. I only have one Wii mode. So that was pretty cool for $1.99. Then I went to the thrift store. I was actually looking for curver boxes to put my stud in. Didn't find any. I did find, found, find, I did find, the. I don't know. I did found, find this awesome CD, Grunge Rock. The most wanted grunge from 1992 I also found this awesome Leonardo glass I've only been looking at the glasses for like six months and it's the first time I actually found a real cool one 25 cents and Red Dead Redemption still in the seal 150 I bought three copies one for me one for my buddy Julian and this one I will sell on. Probably somebody else here or in the Facebook group will be interested in this. So that's it for this video. Bye.